Good morning, Falcon family. I am Christina Black, a junior mass communications major and WAUG radio personality. It is with great honor that I have been selected to introduce someone I respect and admire, Miss Vina Pretty V XL. Vina Pretty V XL is a celebrity comedian, philanthropist, and entrepreneur who has established herself in business and entertainment. Before she started uploading videos on Instagram, she attended St. Augustine's University, graduating in 2015 with a bachelor's degree in mass communications. As a student at SAU, she also launched her radio show, Lounge 22, on the WAUG network, the nation's first HBCU-owned radio and TV station. She is truly a daughter of SAU. Her passion, uniqueness, and talents have enabled her to become a comedian, actress, influencer, and businesswoman, and transcend multiple sectors and industries. With her enthusiastic personality and tenacity to win, Pretty V became a regular cast member for over six seasons on Nick Cannon's Wild and Out, which is aired on MTV. Additionally, she was featured on Nick Cannon Presents The Women of Wild and Out in 2021. Following her rise and success on Wild and Out, Pretty V ventured into the music industry and has been featured on various albums and songs by top selling and influential artists and musicians, including Chance the Rapper, Queen Nigel, and Lil' Kim. Pretty V has released several songs via Apple Music and other music streaming services that include collaborations with artists such as Party and Polo G. Pretty V has a social media following of more than 6 million in partnerships and international and national companies. This following has enabled Pretty V to land deals with major companies such as City Trends, Miel Organics, Luck Bel Air, and Fenty Beauty. And she hasn't stopped there. With Grace in the cover of multiple magazines such as Sheen Magazine, Alpha Magazine, Rolling Out, Grind Pretty, and Hype Hair. Her beauty campaign with Miel Organics placed her on several large billboards throughout Times Square in 2020. However, the sky has proven not to limit Pretty V's career. As she has successfully transitioned onto the silver screen and stage as an in-demand actress. Her first live stage play was Married to a Cheater in Love with a Husband, based on a book of the same name. Her ability to quickly develop the necessary skills needed to become an actress led her to appear in American Gangster Presents Big 50, The Dale Ronda Hood Story, A Hip Hop Christmas, and Miracles Across 125th Street. Big 50, a film produced by Optech Productions, was selected for a 2021 Hip Hop Film Festival and premiere on BET in October 2021. In June of 2022, Pretty V was the BET Awards show pre-show host, bringing in record-setting numbers with the network. But Pretty V will continue to strive for greatness and aim to expand her brand and secure more deals, partnerships, and collaborations while inspiring her global fan base. Vina, we are proud of you and you are a miracle on Oakwood, where you have transformed, excelled, and leading the way. Ladies and gentlemen, please give a warm falcon welcome to our own Ms. Vina Pretty V XL. Wow, that was good. You missed a little bit though, but it's all right. God is good. God is good. Hello, St. Augustine's University. Good morning. I, I could smell it when I came in the gate. I said, uh-uh, St. Aug's still at it. But I'm going to um, get into my speech because I did write one. 
And I'm going to, you know, talk about a delay is never a denial. I know that there is um, some graduates um, of class of 2023. Make some noise for yourself. And also the ones that are coming in class of 2026. Make some noise for yourself. Uh-uh. Y'all want to leave? Y'all make some noise for yourselves. All right, now I put my little glasses on because y'all know I can't see. So let's get into it. Hold on. Let me get it. Let me get it. Let me get it. Let me get it. Okay, you guys. So first, I want to thank God for allowing me to come back home in this capacity. I once sat in the very seats seat that each of you are sitting, and never in my wildest dreams did I think that I would be standing here before you as a keynote speaker of the Fall Convocation 2022. Secondly, I would like to thank the President, Dr. Christine Johnson McPhail, for having me here today. Thank you so much. To the faculty and staff who are guiding these amazing students, I thank you as well. And lastly, the students of SAU. I stand here not, not as Pretty V, the actress and influencer, but as Vena XL, the humble HBCU graduate of this prestigious institution. I explored my gift right here on the campus of St. Augustine's. I slept in these dorms. Home. That's where I slept in. That's where I ate in and I studied in. This campus gave me the courage and the resilience to be my authentic self in front of the world. SAU prepared me to be successful and to never forget where I came from. It gave me an even more solid foundation of faith which has led me into rooms and on stages that I now currently stand on. I am grateful. I'm gonna talk about my journey here at SAU. I'm not gonna to take too long, but I was in Miss West, I was in Western Hall as um, Miss Freshman. I don't know who voted for me, but child, I won, okay? And it was an amazing experience. Um, I walked these halls, I was in, I don't know who else wasn't in financial aid because I was in that building trying to get some money from SAU. I gotta be here. Um, but, but, but SAU built me and shaped me to the woman I am today. I also had my, uh, my, my second roommate, Asia Cawthon, who passed away. She was a student here at SAU. That was my best friend. So I want you guys to always look to your left and look to your right and never take life for granted and know that love on your friends and love on your peoples while you are here because life is too short. Rest in peace, Asia Cawthon. Fly high, baby girl. Oh, Lord. I want to tell you that no matter what you go through or how many doors seem to close on you, just to know that you have a divine assignment and to trust God. I am a believer. My mother is a, a pastor, so I am a PK. So when that flag dropped on you, Miss McPhail, that was just the enemy because you spoke highly of your institution. And I believe that it was him. As you begin to appreciate your journey, be thankful for the small things. God's direction is the only direction. In closing, in all things be grateful. No matter what obstacles come your way, no matter what people may say, what people may post about you, the fights you and your friends go through, because honey, let me tell you something about St. Augustine University, baby. I done yelled at some folks. I done cussed some folks out. But I befriend them the next day, because my heart is big. Um, St. Aug, was a, when, I, when I applied to this institution, they thought I was talking about the one in Florida. And I said, no, baby, there's one in North Carolina now. And what gravitated to me was the WAG radio station that you guys have here because I only wanted to be in the arts. My mom told me when I was a little girl, you are different and you will be in the arts. You will be in this entertainment industry. I just didn't know what area, I didn't know where, where my mind was going or my faith was um, at that time. But I'm happy that God flew me here to St. Augustine University. I was involved in every activity. You could ask Miss Brown, honey. I know she's still around here telling the blue chips to get low and dip it low. Child, I, I, and I was trying to be a cheerleader as well, and I did not make it. God said, baby, you are called to do other things and cheer. And I shown up, did, did the choir too, child, but I just needed that to just get a little refund check. No shade. Hey, y'all. Um, but, uh, but like I said, in closing, 
St. Aug definitely built me and, and shaped me to the woman I am today. I stand, stand here in your truth. Stand in your truth, excuse me, and be authentically you. And remember, a delay is never denial. P.S. In the words of my favorite, it's okay, my hair's laid. In the words of my favorite comedian and actor, Jim Carrey, never let the stress of the world take you from your playful heart. And remember that you are black excellence. You are here for a reason. Continue to walk into your purpose. Continue to walk into your divine purpose. Again, St. Nog was the institution who accepted my grades and accepted my GPA, okay? But they also shaped me in the woman I am today. I have so many accolades, but I am not finished because I still have an assignment, and so do you. Class of 2026, show up and show out and walk with your head held high. You're going to lose some friends. You're going to lose some things. But if you have faith, God will definitely continue to walk with you. I did not know what my career was going to go. I did not know what I was going to do after I graduated from the institution. I promise, I promise you, anxiety came, depression came, worry came. But the God that I serve gave me an outlet. And I'm here to speak today. The class of 2023, the graduate, excuse me, strive for greatness. Strive for greatness, because when you get out of these gates and you throw your hat in the air, life begins. Life begins, and I don't want to say worry begins, but you will worry a little bit because you don't know where you're headed. You don't know where your career is going to go, but if you trust God, I promise you that's the only way you will see your career clear as day. Trust him. And I'm in this industry full, full of a lot of... Uh, haze and maybes and I see what you could do, I, whatever. I don't go off the haze and maybes. I go off God's word. I don't go off the I see it and I, I, I make sure I Tyler Perry get you and I, no, 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 no. I don't, I, I always turn the maybes into yeses and the noes into yeses and the no into I can. And so can you. I love you guys. Thank you so much to St. Augustine University for bringing me back home. I love you guys. W-A-U-G, you are my home. Lounge 22, was my baby. I do see Quan here. He was one of the co-hosts as well on the radio station. We did a great job. I love you much. Remember to put God first and continue to strive for greatness. And remember, a delay is never a denial. Thank you.